We're going to begin this great workout. I'm going to have Mary Eileen sit at the edge of the board. To do this properly with uh, using the wall for jumping, you want to be able to slide yourself right up to the very edge of the board. You have the level on like five, halfway up the machine, maybe a little less. And then from there, she's going to lay on her back. And she's going to put her feet on the wall. And walk your feet down a little bit more so your feet are in line with your hips. You're going to exhale, bring your right leg in, and just fold all the way in. Bring your forehead to your knees. Exhale all the air out. Good. Bring your right foot back on the wall. Arms over your head. Inhale, bring your left leg in. Forward, look uh, straight across. You're going to actually look at your right foot, forehead to your knee. Good. Lay back down, arms over your head. Inhale, nice and deep. Good. Let's go ahead from there and put your hands behind your head. And you're going to just bring your elbows in a little bit. So you want to scoop. You want to tip your pubic bone forward and your um, lean your chest in. Good deep scooping. And we'll begin to jump. Now you're just going to go up and down on the balls of her feet a little bit. That's right. See how deep she comes down? She has her knees come be, um, above her hips. And by doing that, you're really going deeper into your hips and your sacrum and in your buttock. So you really want to go nice and deep to get that full effect. Back and forth. And as you can see, she's real steady. Try to keep your body still when you do this. You don't rock your whole body. You keep it grounded. And to keep it grounded, you have your hand behind your head and you're um, scooping really deep in your core and your eyes are fixed ahead. And this is a great way to warm up. She's warming up really nice here. Pushing off of the balls of her feet. She's nice and light. No heavy, not dropping your feet onto the wall. But just a spring effect going back and forth. Two and one. Beautiful. Go ahead and you straighten your legs back out. Bring your arms back over your head. Inhale nice and deep. This time we're going to have your leg extended. Bring your right leg up and grab your right leg as straight. You have your one hand on the calf, the opposite hand on the hamstring. You bring your forehead in. That's right. And you exhale and you scoop your tummy nice and deep as you look at the opposite foot. Bring that leg down and go ahead, arms over your head. And the opposite side, exhale, pull that all in. We kind of keep that uh, heart rate going, keep the air, uh, the oxygen moving really nice as you're folding in and out. Go back and forth. Bring that leg down, arms over your head. Exhale. Beautiful. Let's do a little variation with that. Go on the balls of your uh, left foot. Go on your left toes. That's good. Grab your right leg again. Good. Fold that in. With on your you're on your left toes. I'm going to bring your right foot down past your left foot. Flex it and come back up. Good. See how she goes back and forth. And that right foot is actually going right next to your left leg, parallel. Don't bring it out to the side. You want to keep it all lined up. As you drop it down, and exhale that up on three. Good. Keep your chest forward on two. Exhale. And on one. Exhale. Hold that nice and deep. Hold that nice in. Scoop it really deep. Put your right foot back down on the wall. Bring your arms over your head. You inhale. Good. Put your hands behind your head. Exhale. And we're going to come down for a deep squat. Come way down. Open your knees up and go into a deep squat. Can you get your forehead right in there, right between your knees? Beautiful. That's good. Got to be at the edge of the board to get that good deep squat. Exhaling really deep. Good. And let's begin to jump again. You lower your feet down a little bit. There you go. And you're going to do a squat when you're jumping. So open your knees up. And you come down nice and deep. Good. With your knees apart. This is another one where you have your knees going above your hips when you're coming down. So when you push off, you're pushing off really deep into your hamstring and into your adductors. Going nice and deep. Exhale and pushing that down. Good. Leaning herself in every time she comes down to her knees. On five, staying on the balls of your feet so you're light. Four. And three, let's add a little variation. How about extending your hands and touching the wall when you come down? Good. Come down and touch the wall. That's a really good challenge for your core to have to lean your body in and touch the wall. So you need to exhale when you're coming down. A couple of more times and touch. Good. Exhale and touch. And one more time and touch. Beautiful. Arms over your head. That's right. We're done with that. Inhale that all the way up. 
Walk your feet down a little bit. You're going to be doing the opposite leg this time. Your feet will be in line up with your hips. Perfect. And let's bring your um, left leg up. You're going to go on the balls of your right foot. That's right. And then holding that with one arm, one hand below and one hand above, supporting that leg and bringing your whole leg in. What you're really trying to achieve here is you're lifting your leg up a little bit. Just a little. And you're um, being able to lean that in nice and deep. So you're actually going in that ball in a socket and you're kind of stretching like that all out. Then you go ahead and you bring your left leg down, flex it, the left foot, and then come back up. Going back and forth, exhaling as she comes down. Good. Beautiful. All right, bring that foot back down. Let's go ahead and we're going to um, bring your right knee in. We're going to do a beautiful hip opener. She's going to put her right foot and cross it right over her left leg above her left knee. Putting that foot in, you can even hold on to that foot if you want a little bit. That's right, just to keep that hip open. And then she's going to go ahead and bend her left knee. If she bends her left knee, you can see that beautiful deep stretch that's going into that hip. So you just kind of hold that a little bit. Cradle that leg in there. You can even have your hand behind your head now and look at your left knee. Bring your elbows in and curl them. That's right, curl them. Really, that's how you want to be. You really want to get deep into that stretch as you exhale, lean your head in. After you're holding that for a few seconds and breathing in and out, you can just extend it, straighten out your left leg and come back down. Do a few of those. Back and forth and just really help to massage and loosen up into that hip joint. Deep into the ball in the socket. A couple of times like that. Beautiful. Way down. Deep stretching. Good. Back up. Wonderful. Okay. Come out of that. Put your right foot on the wall. Let's do the opposite side. Bring your arms over your head. Good deep stretch in there. Inhaling. And then bring your other leg in. There you go. And then take that and stretch it out for a moment. Try to see if you can drop down that left leg a little bit. Holding on it with your right hand to your right foot if you can. If you can't, don't worry about it. But just keep it cradled really nice. And then I'll go ahead and bring your hand behind your head. That's right. And fold in for a second. Feel that deep stretch going into your left hip. As you lean your head forward and you push your navel to the back of the spine. Good. And then come on up and down with that on a three. Good. Pushing out the balls of your right foot. Make sure it feels real steady and stable, always. The great thing about doing the wall on the board like this is that you don't have that impact that you get when you're running on, a, on the cement ground. This way you're having just the impact is just like 45% um, less or even more. So that way the impact is less on your knee, less on your joints of your ankles, and then your hips and allowing you to last longer, getting that good jumping effect. Great impact on your body. Beautiful. Go ahead and put your left hand, a foot back on the wall, bring your arm back over your head and inhale nice and deep. Good. And then you're going to exhale and bring your feet on the wheel of the machine. Good. Now this alone is a beautiful stretch. Hold that real nice as you inhale. Breathe in, deep stretch. Good. I'm going to have you in this position, wiggle yourself up the board a little bit. You can just grab your hands at the top of the board and slide yourself up. So you're about maybe a five inches from the edge. With that, she's going to inhale, lengthen her body, feel a beautiful stretch. Her feet are on the wheel. And she's going to exhale and bring her arm to her side and just look at the wall and hold. That's right. I'm going to have you bring your hand up a little bit more, look at the wall, and you're actually going to come a little bit more like that. So you're going to scoot. You're leaning forward, your chin tucked in, as if your hands are going to want to reach and touch the wall. You exhale that out, and then you lay back down. We'll do that over and over. Exhale, come back up. Reach, come up a little more. That's right. Just enough when you tip your pubic bone in, and you bring your chest forward, getting a deep, solid crunch. Come back down. Good. Exhale, back up. Root, real deep. Chin tucked in. She's almost looking at her toes. One more time. Come down. Good. Exhale. Back up. And scoop. You hold that. Lean your body in. Good. Come back down. Arms over your head. Breathe in. Exhale. This time she's going to come all the way up and touch her toes. Forward bend. Deep forward bend. 
Lean your body all the way in, going into some deep stretching into your hips and your hamstrings, lengthening and toning those muscles, and then working herself right into a beautiful forward bend. She's exhaling all the air out right here and really feeling that deep stretch that she kind of worked herself up to when she does some of that good jumping, keeping the body warm. From there, she's going to sit up nice and tall, and then put your hand behind you, Mary Arlene, and sit in the upright position. Just gently put your hand on the wall, and you're going to lift your um, spine all the way up. You still look ahead. Your chin will be tucked in. So bring your chin down a little bit. Mm -hmm. And she's going to really get a great impact right back here. Holding that all the way in. She's lifting up, bringing her head up to the ceiling by your fingers, pushing into the board. You can even go on your fingertips if you want. Really lift that up. Open that up. You want to see if you can separate each vertebrae from the and from um, lengthening your spine. You really want to lift that up. That's good. Inhale in there. Feeling your hips slightly coming forward. Beautiful alignment here right now. This is what you want to imitate. Feeling that alignment going up. Your hands on the board. You're pushing up. Bringing your hips forward slightly. Everything positions your spine to take it as tall as you can. Good. Exhale. She's going to bend her knees a little bit. Good. And then begin to take her right hand on the outside and pivot herself as she looks at the top number of the rail for a beautiful rotation here. Great stuff here. Lifting and opening. After she got her spine nice and tall, she's going to keep that open, anchoring her right hand on her left knee. And you're going to feel that running all the way up into the right side of your body. With your left hand planted, you're going to actually rotate the entire rib cage. That's what you want to do. Get right into the entire rib cage because you want to pivot the entire thoracic spine. And her eyes are really focused ahead because she wants to go right into the occipital, right up into the top of her um, cervical. Coming out of that, she'll exhale and she'll do the opposite. Put your hand on there, that's right, and you have in your opposite hand pressing in. You open up your chest, you drop your shoulders down, and you aim your crown of your head to the ceiling as you inhale, nice and deep. Good. Exhale, come forward. Beautiful rotation here. And then put your hands on the wall, Mary Arlene, and let's keep that. And fold your body all the way in. Beautiful. Bring your chest way down. Pressing your hands into the wall, she's going into a deep um, um, flat back action. Pressing her hand on the wall, we're finishing up with a beautiful deep forward bend. She's bringing her blades down her back, chest between her legs, pushing off with the heels of her hands, tailbone to the opposite side. Beautiful deep contraction. You feel that from your hands running all the way down. Inhaling nice and deep. 